And welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Of course, we are joined this morning by Governor Greg Gianforte. Thanks so much for being with us on Montana this morning as always. Andrea, my pleasure. It's good nice. to be here. It's so yeah. great to have you. Um, well, we have a lot to talk about this morning. We'll start with the 56 County Tour. You just wrapped that up. Yeah, we just finished yesterday. Nice. And I love getting out and seeing folks. Just yeah. in the last week, I met with uh, food service professionals, EMT, law enforcement, plumbers, other people in the construction trades. It's so important to get out and hear people's voice so I can do a better job back in Helena. Yeah, that's probably a fruitful time for you because you really get to be one-on-one -on -one with people, see them face-to-face. -face. Yeah, the truth doesn't live in Helena. So I have to get out into the communities, county commissioners, law enforcement, and getting to every single one of the counties. Parts of eastern Montana often feel forgotten. So I need to get out there and be in the communities and be with small business owners and just hear where the where government's creating friction yeah. so we can work to remove it. Well, good, that's good to hear about that. Um, it's always exciting to hear about your tour, but glad to have you back now. Um, you've been talking a lot about fire management in the state um, and you have some pretty, are, would you consider them alarming statistics to pass along about that? Well, we had a better fire year this year, mm -hmm. uh, in part because we had more precipitation in the spring, but also because our firefighters did a heroic job. They really did. One stat I want to pass on, which is good, uh, we had about 270 fires this year that were under direct straight state control. And to working together, we pursued an aggressive attack approach. It's a lot easier to put a fire out when it's small than when it's big. The state firefighters kept those 270 fires on average to under two acres each. Okay. This is really unprecedented for yeah. us. And I was thrilled that the Forest Service and BLM, I asked both of them to join us in this policy of aggressive attack on fires. But the other side of that coin is really active forest management. Uh, we have to get into the woods and start removing excess fuels. I, was, uh, I had a press conference yesterday in Helena at that uh, Mount Helena fire, mm -hmm. and we could see the effect of forest management. Uh, they had been, they'd taken out the extra wood. The remaining trees were healthier. They were growing faster. And when the fire came through there, it stayed on the ground. It didn't go into the crown, so none of the trees died. Yeah, it, it seems like Lewis and Clark County has been really good, really, really active in forest management. Even I've seen that when I've been out recreating, so that's good to hear that. Well, it allows more access. We have better habitat. There's more wildlife. The, fire, the forest is more resilient to fire and we create jobs. So everybody wins when we manage our forests. And yeah. it's been a top priority for us. We doubled the number of acres under active forest management in our first year in office. We're increasing it again this year. And we're pursuing things like the Good Neighbor Authority to, so the state can start managing the federal land as well. Now we got a ways to go, but we're making progress. Okay, um, Governor, let's talk public safety. Um, those of us in Billings, this is a big issue for us, right? We've had. I don't even know how many different shootings in the last couple of weeks here in Billings. You are going to have conversations with our local law enforcement today. Yeah, I had a public safety roundtable here. I'll be meeting today with Chief St. John and Judge Nisley. I've now done six public safety roundtables around the state, one right here in Yellowstone County. And this is an all hands on deck moment. Uh, we have drugs flooding into our country uh, from Mexico. Uh, this is really Chinese ingredients being mixed together by the cartels. We confiscated more fentanyl in the first six months of this year in Montana than the last two years combined. So this is a real issue and we're putting together a package of things that we're going to work on in the next legislature to make sure our communities are safe. Okay, we'll be looking forward to that because we're all invested in that issue. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Governor, so much for being here with us on this Tuesday morning. Um, good luck with everything and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Andrea. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank okay, you. we'll be right back.